Hey, beautiful people out there, and welcome to my channel where I talk about living in Japan and working in the JET program. So, I've lived in Amagazaki, which is in Hyogo Prefecture in Japan, for five years, and maybe four and a half years ago, I did an apartment tour video of what my apartment's like. So, I'm about to leave my apartment. I've been here for five years. So, I wanted to do a final kind of tour of how I pimped out the place after four and a half years. So I thought it'd be fun just to share it. So let's check it out. So we got my, like, not, I guess it's like dining room, sort of. Got my shoe rack right here. Got my gun con where you put all your shoes. Door entrance. We got, before I just had like Daiso racks here that were storing everything in an old fridge. So I got rid of those and added this new kind of kitchen storage unit. Got a rice cooker, got a fridge, you know, all the works. Got unnecessary amounts of luggage here. Got a kitchen, pretty small, kind of hard to cook on, but that's all right. We got a toilet, fit with shark fins, because why not? And you still have the animal imprint things on the wall. Who knows where that's from? Mirror that's actually clean somehow. Bathroom with a crank shower. Still gotta use that. Turn on the gas here. And then you have to have this setting on like, dot fire. Whatever that kanji means. Press it down. Oh God. Press it down, and then while it's down, you have to crank this thing right here. And then simultaneously watch in here to see the flame. Look at that flame boy go. And then while you're watching the flame, you have to lift this up and make sure the flame doesn't die, which it didn't. I left it up and it didn't die. Then you turn it to shower, and then you can use your shower. That's the seven step process to get hot water in my apartment because they're ancient. Let's turn that off. Get the hot water out. And this is a short and dirty tour. I'm washing all the sheets and stuff, so it's looking pretty crazy in here. Just because I'm making sure everything's clean and whatnot. But we got tatami, fresh new tatami, smells lovely in here. Boom, boom, look at that. Bookshelf, TV, cause why not? View of the other apartments. Hello, people. Got these nice sliding doors, very traditional style. All right, so now let's visit my balcony, which I love because I love plants and whatnot. Ta-da, most of them are trying to come back because I went on vacation and the heat really zapped them but the strawberries are coming back I'm watering them and making sure they're healthy enough and then got laundry because dryers are just not a thing here All right next is the office boom looking pretty clean which is unlike me got to clean up a few more things there's my remaining clothes that I'm gonna use Paper storage, jacket holder, got a bookshelf, desk, we got living room, got closet storage, you can shut that paper door and then hide that, fan, chairs, kotatsu, Japanese man not included in the room, unfortunately, Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and big old TV. Got a skylight, kotatsu, which is great for the winter. You can turn on the heat, put a blanket between the top table and this part and cuddle up, which is great. And second balcony, which you can chill on the couch with. Chill on this couch, look out. And you can enjoy the sunset from the fourth floor here with a nice breeze. So this apartment's absolutely wonderful. And the best part is the cost 
of this apartment in Japanese yen is Ichiman. They raised the price by 4%. So now it's Ichiman Yon Yakuen, which is about 72 US dollars per month, which is ridiculous. It's in Amagazaki, which is near Hyogo. So yeah, that's my quick and dirty tour of my house. So would you live here? What do you think? If you're living in Japan, what's your apartment like? Or what's your apartment like in general? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, we'll see you around.